Hi guys, I'm going to have you follow along uh, in the packet with me for a continuation of loudness or intensities of sound waves uh, for pages 15 and 16, and then you'll do the next two on your own or also with the use of the answer key. <clears throat> um, so first off, again, it is a different scale. It is a logarithmic scale, but there is a way to convert it back to a more linear scale. Now, as you remember when we were actually in school, we were talking about sound being vibrations of a medium. Um, so you can almost start to look at this um, as like uh, we, we modeled the ripples in a pond. So if you just dropped a stone in a pool or a lake, the sound waves or the waves, no matter whether it was waves in the water or waves in the air, would be going out radially in all directions. Um, so you're vibrating the air, vibrating somebody's eardrum, your vocal cords, and it takes work to do that. So I wouldn't expect you to know the exact connection to uh, this unit of a watt per meter squared, but it's basically the overall area of the air or medium that you're vibrating um, and how quickly you're doing that. So that's where the watts comes in. The watts is a measurement of power, joules per second. So that's going to show the intensity or, or how much that, that medium is vibrating. So in this whole part, we are just converting from the, the, the decibel scale, which is logarithmic to a more linear one. Um, just kind of how you would do mole conversions, I guess, in um, chemistry. It's just whatever unit you are needed at that time for what explanation or what you're doing with that information. So number one is already done for you, so we're going to jump right in number two. So we have an ordinary conversation between two people at a distance of 50 centimeters. The 50 centimeters is extra information because we already have um, the watts per meter squared. Um, so we have that intensity. Now we have to compare it to this important value, 1 times 10 to the negative 12th watts per meter squared. This is the lowest um, that we as humans can hear. So we have to relate it to that because there is sound um, or vibrations less than frequencies and magnitudes that we can hear, um, but we can't perceive that on our scale because we perceive vibrations as sound and then this is a sound scale so to do this we're simply going to convert it from that log so it's going to be 10 log base 10 and it's 10 because it's a decibel that we want so we're gonna have to take the number of bells that we get and multiply it by 10 and then we're just comparing the um the intensity that we are given the three times 10 to the negative 6 watts per meter squared to that original uh, lowest intensity. So you're always going to have that lower um, number being that 10 to the negative 12. I didn't necessarily write this correctly, but... Um, so when we plug this in, we're basically going to plug in our calculator this information here. And then we're going to hit our log button and then times 10. And it should come out with 65 decibels. So once you know how to set up the problem and you know how your log feature is on your calculator, you should be able to go and see the connections. And sadly to say, this is kind of a math thing. And the more you do, the more you'll recognize patterns and how to plug it in and what we're trying to find. So in number three, we have an indoor rock concert it has an intensity of one watt per meter squared. So that's a lot because anything that's not going to have that um, smaller number, that scientific notation with a negative exponent, it's going to be a clue that it's a pretty loud sound. So we're going to again convert this to decibels. So we're going to have our 10 log base 10. And on most calculators, the default, I believe, is 10 I know in my basic one, it always is 10. I don't think you can change it, uh, but your more complicated ones might actually have different log bases. So we have the just one watt per meter squared over our one times 10 to the negative 12. 
and we plug that in and you should be able to get 120 decibels not forgetting to hit uh, multiply it by the 10. I tend to do that after fact, just the way that my calculator uh, kind of works. Uh, then in number four, that you have a moving car going 55 miles per hour. That's just extra information because we are inside the car. So the speed of the car has nothing to do with Doppler's effect or anything like that. So again, 10 log base 10. 3 times 10 to negative 5th watts per meter squared. Over our lowest intensity. And we should be able to plug that in and get 75. And again, if, you have, if you're struggling with this, let me know. Send me a Schoology message um, and the type of calculator you have. And I'll try and send you a message or video back um, with step-by-step -step instructions. But I believe you have done this in pre-calc um, or maybe even algebra too. So page 15 was just going from intensities in a linear scale, watts per meter squared, just the overall amount of matter being vibrated and going into decibels, that, that other logarithmic scale. So on page 16... We're again going to be comparing loudness, loudnesses, as we did in that chart, which feel free to, to do it that way as well. Um, but this is yet yeah, just another way. I think this is a little bit quicker of a way to do it. So you see this example here. Um, so we're doing that uh, second log button on our calculators. So we're comparing how much louder... Um, 20 is compared to 10 decibels. So the easiest way to do this is go 10 and we're going to subtract that difference at 20 decibels minus the 10, which is a difference in 10. Um, and that's what we did in the chart. Um, and then we also had to convert that to bell. So we're then going to take this whole thing, which is an exponent, and divide it by 10 to go from decibels to bells, which that is just simply 20 minus 10 is 10 over 10, which is just 10 to the 1, and it's just going to be 10 times louder. Something that we already did, but just not in a chart form. So for 2, how much more intense, or how much more loud, is a 30 decibel noise compared to a 10, which it's telling us it's an increase of 20. They kind of helped us there. So the same thing, we're doing 10 to the 30 minus 10, over 10, and again, that whole value here is an exponent. So it's 10 to the 20 over 10, which is really 10 to the 2, because we need to be in bells, and that's going to be 100 times louder. 3, a U2 concert, which I don't even know if you guys know who U2 is. Um, maybe extra credit if you can tell me who the lead singer is. Um, they played with 110 decibels, and then at a piano recital, it was 70. So how much louder was this concert? So same thing. 10 to the 110 decibels minus the 70 divided by 10 because it is in decibels, and we need it in bells to have that conversion to a linear scale. Um, and then you just continue out, and you should be able to get 10,000 times louder. Four, how much quieter? Same thing, 50 to 80. I tend to kind of go in that same order, um, having the, the first thing we're comparing first. So in all those other problems, one through three, we did the bigger number minus a smaller number, and you'd get a positive number. Um, so that was a sign that it was louder. Here, if we do 50 minus 80 and that negative isn't necessarily going to mean anything you're not going to plug that into a calculator per se because um, you would still do how many times louder so that would be 10 to the 30 over 10 so it's 10 to the third 
which is going to be a thousand times quieter. Where I would use that, that negative in the 50 minus the 80 is the quieter part. Five, another rock concert compared to a jackhammer. Um, so 10, and you should be able to start seeing uh, patterns here. Whether we are going from decibels um, to watts per, or sorry, uh, decibels to watts per meter squared, or vice versa, or comparing loudnesses, or another way to say that, intensities. So that should be able to get you 630 times, and that the only reason why that's a, lo a little bit of a weird number is because we're not going in order of 10, so we have the 92 and the 120. It's not going to give us a uh, multiple of 10. So then the last one, I'll do with you. Uh, we need to find out what this missing sound would be. So we have a piano recital at 65. We want to see what loudness is 10 times quieter. Um, so that's going to be our missing intensity. So we had the 65. I'm going to just call it I since we're looking for intensity. You can call it X or whatever variable you like. It's over 10. And that's going to equal 10 times louder. So then we just solve for our our missing variable, um, which in this case would be 55 decibels. And that's it. So go ahead and try uh, page 17 and 18, I believe it is. Um, and then if you have any questions with that, let me know. And the answers are in Schoology if you want to see the detailed versions. Thank you.